So if you've been watching my videos, then you know I've been telling you guys that I bought that V6 Challenger as an entry into the Dodge family. Well, my two years is up. Look what I just picked up. Yeah, 2018 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack. Tour Red. Yo, coming from the V6, 305 horsepower to the 392. 485 oh man it's a world of a difference and i'm glad that i had to start with the v6 too because it's like you, you 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 can't respect this power coming coming from the from the from the uh the 6.1 liters or the 6.4 liters that was 470 they just bumped it up to the 485 this past recent year so coming for 305 oh man yeah i know a lot of people are going to comment and say oh take those those front bumper guards off take those bumper guards off yeah maybe no time soon though it's kind of dark outside not dark but it's a cloudy day so it looks a lot darker than it is in the daytime but that tour red is bright it's my favorite part of the challenger right here circle pipes them big ass circle pipes probably gonna ride this thing stock for a while I've been searching up Dodge Charger RT scat pack since 2015 when they first dropped so I've seen damn near a lot of cars damn near all the mods that these guys have done to their cars and to me I feel like every single person is kind of making their car like the next person's and I don't want to do that. So until I can come up with something unique, like I'm not going to Lux Auto my side markers. I'm not going to get the wicker bill and drill into my spoiler. I don't want to put a front splitter on the car. Every single Charger Challenger that I see got those mods. Literally every single one. Lowering springs maybe muffler delete i'm still deciding on that it sounds a little raspy to me i don't know if i really like it because this is way deep enough that stock growl is way deep enough coming from the v6 psh, come on now I, did, I, did, I didn't hear half half as much noise as this thing makes even touching the throttle the 18 model so you got this is one of my favorite things that I that I that I needed on this on the on the scat pack was these new performance pages I like the ones that came in the 15 and 16s and the 17s but man for this 18 whoo, they made it way better I'm hoping this is clear for you guys Look at that home page with the horsepower and the torque just moving up and down like that. Intake air temp. This is the newest one right here. Dino pages. Can't really rev the car too much. 291 miles on it. I just got it a couple days. 34 miles when we came off the lot. See the Mute Sport Super Track Pack. You know, just the normal stuff. I'm pretty sure all you guys have been looking at for years. No need for me to go over all of that stuff. Man, I hope you guys stay tuned because we about to have some crazy videos. We about to go some point of view driving. 
that's what I'm most excited about is the POV driving videos that I'm about to bring you guys going up and down these mountains and these deserts most of all that Las Vegas strip man this thing is bad that's the first way to tell from the Hellcat is those those fog lights the Hellcats don't got the fog lights I may put some different badges on the side maybe when they put out those uh 2019 wide bodies Hellcats I kind of like that that angry B I'm gonna see how it'll look on a charger but other than that probably gonna keep this thing stock I know a lot of people debadge that RT just because they feel like why should they have the RT on the scat pack if it's a 392 but Dodge wouldn't have put it on there if they didn't want it to be on there I'm not saying that you shouldn't take it off but I'm gonna leave it on there I feel like it's part of the car because it is a RT scat pack that's what Dodge brands it as that's what you see when you go to building price so they say for 2019 the RT is really considered a SRT now since they took the SRT 392 away so maybe after the 19s drop we could start calling our scats <laughs> SRTs yeah this this tour red is a beast man I've seen the red line red and it was it's a, it's a bit darker than this this still got the gloss man my challenger was pitch black so I'm used to that that mirror this hasn't even been washed yet I haven't got a professional wash no nothing Maybe the next video I can uh, make a video of this thing getting professionally washed. What do you guys think? Drop some comments, man. You guys want to see some more pictures of the car? My Instagram is Legendary Loso. Same as the YouTube handle. Do a couple more reps for you guys. And that's just that's just normal mode I don't got the sport activate nothing pop the hood right quick for you guys it was never like this on my v6 challenger but sometimes even if you take this thing around the block and try to touch underneath this hood that should be hot sure this way good old powered by the SRT right there probably order some uh some little red inlays to go on that srt probably leave the power powered by like it is see a lot of people getting the cold air intakes but i've been doing research on the cold air intakes especially in these scat packs and the hellcats and a lot of people are saying that it's not getting no horsepower gain and, and sometimes they're even saying that it's making the the, the uh, cold air even hotter so thinking about getting a can in drop in filter going there I've seen results on that. Dino results. But yeah, man. This is a scat pack, man. 2018 Dodge Charger RT scat pack. Tour red. Stay tuned. Let's get it.